Hello everyone, I hope you are well. In today's video, we will discuss about our previous video using ChatGPT to build system diagrams. Some of you have many questions about this video, so let's move forward towards this video. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about how can you learn a new language with ChatGPT? If you are new here, I am Asan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, come in now on this video. Let's start today's video. Let's see our first question in the comment section. So the first question is about, do you have any suggestions to generate level 1, level 2 and level 0 flow diagrams using ChatGPT? I also replied to the comment, I tried asking ChatGPT to generate level 1, 2 and 0 flow diagrams. It generated simple versions of these levels. I generate the flow diagrams of level 1, 0 and 2. So ChatGPT can give you the code of Marmaid. Let's see. I can show you some sample of that. So here's my prompt and I'm going to press enter. Let's see. So it generated the diagram, but it is not in Marmaid code. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give the marmaid code for this so here it is let's copy this code and see the result and see the result of this response of chat so here it is but if we can expand it too so i just enter this prompt give more sample and i'm going to copy this and see the result of this so you can see that when we generated the level zero diagram the chat generated this response but it can give you a different response it depends on your prompt too so let's Ask our chat GPT about give marmaid code for level 1 diagram and let's see. So here it is. I'm going to just copy it and paste it right here. You can see that the level 1 diagram is right here. It is not going to be very much similar to that original level 1 diagram but you can actually get an idea of the DFD. Similarly, you can ask about the level 2 diagram and definitely you give more specific instruction to chat GPT so that your results can be more accurate. Let's move forward towards the next question. So this is about, can you use this to build use case specification diagram and business process maps? Are there other resources that can do this? So first talk about this use case specific diagram. I'm going to ask ChatGPT about some sample of the use case specific diagram and ask ChatGPT to give Marmaid code of use case specification diagram. Give some sample of use case specification diagram. Sorry about the spelling mistake. Let's see this. So here is a sample of use case diagram. I'm going to ask ChatGPT the Marmaid code for this. So give Marmaid code for the above use case specification diagram. And let's see. I think it is very short. Let's ask ChatGPT to expand it. Give more sample and press enter. I'm going to copy it and let's see the result of this. You can see that ChatGPT generated this diagram, but I think it's not accurate. Let's ask ChatGPT this question in a new chat and then I'm going to ask it give Marmaid code for use case specification diagram. Press enter and let's see. I'm going to just copy it and check the result for the use case specification diagram. So overall, you can just get this type of use case specification diagram if you ask ChatGPT about this diagram. Let's move forward towards the next diagram, business process maps. So if I search it on Google, so you can have an idea what it is about. It is a basic flow chart. So basically we should be getting this type of diagram. Uh, let's ask ChatGPT. Give Marmaid code for business process maps. And I'm going to copy this too. Press enter and let's see. Okay, here's the result. Now let's see what it gives us. I'm going to just paste it right here. I think it is very much similar to these diagrams. You can see that this diagram is created horizontally, but ChatGPT gave us in vertical position. But I think it is very much similar to these diagrams. Let's move forward towards the next question. Can you also make a video on how to make relational model by using ChatGPT? Okay, first of all, let's have an idea what is relational model and then paste it. Okay, it is actually in just a tabular form and it is about DBMS, which is uh, about database. So let's see what we can get from ChatGPT. Give some relational model and press enter. Okay, the format is very simple right here, but we can ask ChatGPT to make it in tabular formats. We can type it right here. Give this in tabular format so that we can have 
so that we can have this type of diagram right here okay overall you can just get this type of thing from ChatGPT if you are a relational model and there is nothing else you can do with marmite code and merging it with relational model diagram so overall you can just get this tabular format okay let's move forward towards the next question can you please make a video on creating a context level dfd using ChatGPT and marmite it's the same question asked before which is about generate level one level two and level zero flow diagram level zero diagram is also called the context level dfd so you can just go back and watch it how i did that let's move forward yes here is a question wasn't there a diagram in marmite github for use case how do i make use case data model so marmite does not provide anything for use case data model you can see that by just going to github repository of marmite you can find sequence diagram gan chart class diagram state diagram pie chart etc but you cannot find the use case data model you can just create use case data model like i did with use case specification diagram it will give you similar diagram like that let's move forward okay here's a question i saw your video but not able to get clear view of the diagram the font size is very small and if i zoom it the words are blurred what should i do please help me so for that i replied there are options at the bottom of marmite after generating the diagram you should be able to see the formats of the image and select it to open in new tab you can find these options right here if you just go to actions and then you can have this option right here you have to click on it and you will get a separate diagram and in a new separate tab and if you zoom it it is not going to be blurred let's move forward towards the next question so it says about what about activity diagrams i also replied to this comment it was about you can also generate code of activity diagram just ask ChatGPT. the code is may start with graph td for activity diagram let's see it gives some marmite code for activity diagram and press enter it depends on ChatGPT response it may give you lr or td depending on the prompt because it varies for everyone i'm going to just copy it and paste it right here okay sometime it can give you some errors so what you have to do is to just go to the new chat and ask ChatGPT again give marmite code for activity diagram and press enter i'm going to copy it and paste it right here and let's see if, if it gives you the result so here it is you can see the activity diagram ChatGPT generated so you can try this method and get your activity diagram let's move forward towards the next question and syntax error is created when i put the code create new chat on ChatGPT and ask it again so you just saw it right now i did that again by going to a new chat and ChatGPT generated a correct result for that syntax error let's move forward i can reproduce this most of the time ChatGPT gives broken marmite code so it is exactly the same you have to just create a new chat and ask it again so these were all the questions in the comment section but if you still got any questions you can just ask on this video come in now on this video and i will try to answer all your questions so if you like the video click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when i publish the video thank you guys for watching